Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share while you're here. Definitely appreciate that. Yo, so I'm actually back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these news updates, but <clears throat> I felt that this was something to, to speak about. So basically, I, I'm going to go over three um, three top news that's going on. One is the robbery that took place in Santa Fe Mall. The second one is a, is a taxi driver that was actually robbing, that was drugging and robbing people. While the last one is <clears throat> basically the, the Colombian committee they're meeting with the United States and they're going to ask to waive the visitor visa for Colombians coming to the United States. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Let's take a look at each article. So the first one again is the attempted robbery on basically in Santa Fe, the mall. For those of you that know about Santa, about, you know, being in, in Medellin, um, especially in Poblado, Santa Fe is that mall out there in, um, in the Poblado area. So let's go ahead and jump into this to see exactly what happened. So this is coming to you guys from El Colombiano. The title says, Attempting robbery generates panic and an injured person in a shopping center in Medellin. It says here, An attempted robbery in the store in the Santa Fe shopping center in the south of Medellin caused panic among people who were visiting the place this Sunday. According to testimonies of two people who were in the establishment in El Poblado, two shots were heard inside a clothing store on the third floor, which altered with alerted the security guards. When I was in the store measuring clothes, the shots were heard the witness commented. This is according to preliminary information from the from the Valley Metropolitan Police, it was an attempted robbery from a citizen who had just withdrawn money. Failing to, to achieve his goal, the alleged thief managed to injure the victim with a traumatic weapon that f and fled. Despite the fact that the incident happened at midday, that there are multiple surveillance cameras, cameras and private security in the shopping center, the criminal went out into the street without problems. So, but if you guys want to continue reading, you know, everything else that, that actually happened in this video i'm sorry in this article you could check it out i have this have this in the comment section you guys could check out this um this whole section of what happened but basically what you see there is basically someone went in there robbed the store trying to get some money you, you know how it is it is what it is in medellin it's been going on for for years you know the robberies so you know they rob their own and they're you know they rob each other and they rob us so it is what it is gotta keep your eyes open on what's going on so Let's jump on to the next, to the next one here, which is managing taxi driver drugged his passenger to rob them. Stupid. Of course, you know he's not showing his face. He don't want to be. <laughs> he want everybody to see his face and so forth. But you know the typical police shot picture. <coughs> Excuse me. So it says a taxi driver who provided his service in Medellin and the metropolitan area would have used chemical substance to bend, to bend the passengers and thus be able to steal their belongings. Among his victims would be six women and an adult over 72 years of age. It says after a long investigation carried out by the, prosecute, by the prosecutor from the supporting structure of the prosecution office between January and September of this year, Servers from the Technical Investigation Corp found that suspect identified as George, um, who was actually 38, while driving his vehicle through the center of Medellin. The driver is accused of robbing at least eight passengers, six women and two men, one of whom is 72 years old. The illegal action, according to the prosecutor's office, would have been committed at night, especially during weekends, and as well as, as well-known uh, entertainment areas as of Medellin and, and Evagado. The event occurred between January 15th and September 4th, 2022. According to the investigation, uh, basically this person picked up the, picked up his victim and supplied them with chemical substance, then stole their belongings, especially credit cards. Once once the theft was committed, he abandoned them at different points in the in the valley area. So that's that's basically what's going on. So you gotta see, you know, you gotta be on the lookout. Even the cab driver, you know, taxi drivers, they'll they'll come at you. You know, so you gotta be careful, you know, what's going on. And it seemed like this guy was, was more so targeting women. He got one old man. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, his target was the women and it wasn't, you didn't see anything in reference to like, 
middle-aged men or even younger men and so forth so you're just trying to go after the vulnerable you know which kind of sucks especially for um for women and so forth so they got to be very very careful out there of course we got to be very careful as usual you know from being out there but and it looks like he's definitely targeting more so the the women you know so i'm thinking that might be something you may have to look into as far as any other robberies that go on that's going on see if there is a trend if they rob women more in it and then if they rob men so that's something to think about so next one here is um is basically from from colombiano it says right here in 30 minutes it says the national government will ask the united states government to remove the visa requirement for Colombians tourists who want who wants to travel to north american country lewis the Colombian ambassador to washington will present a formal uh, proposal to president joe biden in the coming days this announcement could be within the the bill the bilateral relations agreement between the two countries as is as it is made known a week after secretary of state anthony um held a two-day meeting with the colombian government continue reading the full note in you know minute 30 so there's more to it i'm gonna continue reading it but like i said so it looks like you know they're trying to find a way to allow um colombians to come visit without a visa so for those of you that you know that have your your you know girlfriends or they have you know whatever you deal with down in your yeah, situation you might be able to you know if this goes through that is you'll be able to have them come up there instead of you constantly going down there you can have them come visit you from time to time and i know i know a lot of a lot of brothers i've, I've come in contact with to actually do this they actually know a couple of women that actually have visas and when they're unable to go down there to the you know to columbia they will actually have them come up and meet them you know miami or new york or whatever and you know they'll have a good time so you know uh, for me i i don't see nothing wrong with this move i think this is actually a great move you know especially for those who are at the point of trying to um vet a woman and want to see how she would act especially meeting their family so i think that this is something um you know would be actually something positive and so forth so but hey man nonetheless this is your boy the solo travel ord thanks again for checking out this video of course don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'm out